So, what would you like today for your bridal look? I'm thinking something more modern and edgy with yeah. the pop of color. Okay, something a little more fun? Yes. Okay, I was thinking, because I've been bursting to do this, doing something glittery and like pushing a little gold, yeah. with a gold. stain of coral on the lip, but l like literally doing a smoky, glittery eye. Yeah. It'd be nice. So I've already done a really light foundation, so you can see the skin really important. And then light dusting of powder. The brows, we're making them a little bushier. So I just filled in and shaped with powder and then brushed them up. I always like to curl the lashes first. Gently curl, opens the eyes up. I'm just gonna hydrate the lips so that they're all moisturized, ready to go for when we put the color on. Now, I'm gonna start the gold. So, because gold travels and glitter, and it gets everywhere, you have to get ready so to catch it all. So we do this and just go right for it. So you place the powder on the brush and you press into place. Okay, pressing, don't Pressing, brush. yeah, because if you brush, it'll, it travels and it flies. Gently lift it like that, put it in the corner, lift it so that you get right close to the lashes and then gently spread it. And then keep your eyes closed here. There we are. And then open. Yes. And then that's it, open like that. Then take the smaller brush in the lashes, literally. Okay. Push it in, push it in, push it in. Around the corner, right up to the lashes. And then do the same on the other side. And you can go in and just Add a little bit more where it seems appropriate. And then take a clean brush and just sort of back to the blending we were talking about. Yeah. Just blend it gently, gently, gently. Now take some glitter and you literally, with your finger, you apply it and you can move it around before it dries. This glitter is actually based in like a sort of a gel that dries so it actually just sticks on your eyes. And then dry it off and open. Ooh, so pretty. And just spread it around and do lots and lots and lots of mascara. You want mascara in the roots so that it's all the way up to the, makes the roots look thicker. Right on the edge. And you can make the eyelashes a little bit more spidery. Okay. The same trick that we've done before, look down and lift up the lid and just get the upper waterline in. And you can clean up with a bit of foundation, but it's all very contained. And just gently, 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 because we don't want to see this line. I just want to shape it up a bit. That's it. But it's all about the fingers, pushing it in like that. So we just get it in so it just looks like a stain. And each finger you put over just to push it in more, to leave it like that. So it looks really natural, but just a little bit, a little something. Soft, soft coral cheek. And what you can do, a little dusting of coral. Why is that? It's just a way to mat it up oh, okay. and make it look softer. And then, last of all, let me just put on the lower lash. How much time does this look take? It should only take about 15 minutes. So we have a hot iron, fresh blow dried hair, and we are just going to set in a curl. I'm going to finish her ends, which means smooth them out and give them a curl, not leaving anything hanging out, heating up the full shaft of the hair into a nice wave pattern. Every section is horizontal and going down. Just coming through with my fingers, setting in the curl at the base first, so that way it'll kick off the head and give me a nice head shape. You could also set it like this on rollers, if that's easier for you. You can already see the nice wave pattern. I'm holding the curl
curl in there just long enough to heat it up and I keep checking it with my finger so it doesn't get too hot. If you see a little bit of steam coming off, that's the heat protectant spray I used, which adds a little setting lotion in it as well, but also is gonna protect her hair. So as I get to the top, I take smaller sections because I want a little more height and I wanna make sure that it has a little more kick to my wave, even though it's the same size curling iron. Angle right off the scalp, 90 degree angle, up and off the head. We have her hair all curled and it already is looking beautiful, but I'm gonna go in and add a little more height to it. I call it compacting a base because people back home, they, want it, they think they need to rat it out. You just take little sections and just go three inches up and compact a base. Take your comb down, put it at the base of the scalp, and then sort of lock it in there. Going up about three inches, I'm adding a little bit of tension and just going down to the scalp and I call it compacting a base. That way that is gonna hold that hair out. You could smooth it a little bit if you want, but it's just gonna shake down and have that little extra bounce and fullness. And I'm just gonna go through and do that on each little section. Sometimes if I want it to hold a little longer, I'll put a touch more spray in there. And the trick is on the top, you do that and see, you can see all the flyaways and stuff, but that has some hold there. And then you just take your fork and smooth that over. Now this, I'm not gonna spray at the very front because we don't want huge hair. And let's brush out our wonderful set that we have here. Don't be afraid to get in there, smooth it. You're not gonna brush out your curl. A little bit in the middle, let it fall where it wants. And then shake it out. No matter which way she moves, it's beautiful, it's effortless, it's wild, it's sexy. I mean, it really has everything. <laughs> 